Good morning, super cool party people. It's minus eight today. I mean, in all fairness, it's probably minus eight like at the airport because airports are usually where temperature comes from. I think when we were in the car, it was only, only minus four, but yeah, it's a very cold day today and not, not happy to be up and out in it. I think I'm feeling better today, like uh, sickness wise, but I'm really tired. So <laughs> famous last words, maybe we'll try to go to sleep early tonight. Um, I climbed into bed before midnight last night and then I just, I just stayed awake because I'm super the worst. Last night while I was blogging, I realized my problem is for being like super unproductive that I haven't set a new goal. So I've got like three potentials. I just need to pick one and go with it. So that's maybe the goal for today. I don't know, but I'm hungry or something slash want to sleep, which I don't know how that's going to happen, but gonna go have breakfast and then get to work. I still don't want to take off my buff because I'm still cold. I did take off my sweater though, so maybe I should have like done that in the opposite order. Also, I don't even know. I got dressed this morning, I dressed myself. This happens sometimes. But I went from like getting to work this morning and being like super stressed about various different things, AKA life, to maybe having a pretty good line on titles for this series that I'm working on, not the series overall, but like the books, there's five books and I want the titles to all kind of work together. And so I think I'm almost there, I'm getting there. And so I'm like so excited and then I like got ideas for like my query letter. So I like typed those out. So, <sighs> okay, day emotions. <laughs> um, I'm almost done at work here. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do, TBD. All right, so day is complete. I met up with my mom and her boyfriend and we had lunch and now they've just gone to the store but it's one of those stores that makes you leave your backpack and I don't like to leave my backpack in the vehicle because I have expensive tech in it so I always like to bring it with me so I'm just chilling in the car while I wait for them to finish. I feel like I had more revelations about my title so I'm feeling pretty good about things. I'm gonna go home and like write a bunch of them down and then kind of figure out where to go and it actually means I'm a lot more motivated to work on the story as a whole so maybe I'll get into book two later. We shall see. I'm excited. This is good. All right so I just got home. It is brisk in this house. It's a problem like with such a big house and nobody home. You don't heat it because I'd be stupid and so gotta definitely warm up now but we're getting there. I had to pick up some modern at the store because I realized we we're almost out. Whew. And why not show you the Christmas tree while we're at it? But first, this is my stocking. I made it in sewing class forever ago. It's still going strong. And here's the tree. It's very similar to last year. Uh, we haven't got any new decorations or anything. And then there's the crazy owl on top. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We're getting there. We're, we're getting there. Oh, and this guy too. Yeah. Anyway, now... I'm home, I'm gonna switch into some sweatpants probably because sweatpants, ooh, or pajamas. I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Like, I don't know if I have to leave the house again, but I mean, I guess I could always change again, but yeah, so gonna change, oh, my poor two care, and um, then try to be productive, I think. That should be the plan. Let's do this. Well, I just woke up from a nap. I think my downfall was instead of sweats, I put in pajama pants. No, the downfall was probably, and then I climbed into my bed. Um, obviously I needed it though, cause I was out cold pretty quickly. I slept for about an hour, I think, maybe just a little bit over, so that's good. I'm feeling great, like it was like the perfect amount of nap, I think, cause you know, sometimes you wake up and you are just more exhausted than before, but I think we're doing all right. Um, it is currently, 510 so that's cool and um i think i'm gonna put on some christmas music and make my bed and something rather hey google can you put on christmas music please i hate this latin jazz music station every time This is the 
the second time I've been in Walmart today. <sighs> very specific folder on a hard drive I don't know which one it is it's not a folder sorry it's a file and I can't find it but I was just like oh book report what the heck is that and I don't know when I wrote this but I mean I probably didn't do any book reports in high school so it must have been middle school I don't know anyways it's about Harry Potter um, and so the last sentence is this novel and all the others in the Harry Potter series will go down as great works of literature past me new no. <laughs> so yeah that's crazy I am having no luck the heck is this oh wow this is my so I did French immersion and in grade 12 we had to write a report and then we had to verbally give the report and it would get like record it and then the teacher would ask us questions and then that would get sent off to the government and if you did a good enough job they'd be like yes you're certified bilingual and this is apparently my um my actual report it was about i did a report about mcdonald's because i worked there at the time dans le monde aujourd'hui on voit beaucoup de compagnies qui ont diffusé tout autour du monde oh yeah it was um mcdo et la globalisation globalization and McDonald's. Anyway, that's crazy. This is kind of fun. Trip trip down memory lane. Oh wait, is this? No, what the heck is this? Oh, I was, I was Canadian, so super into hockey, and this was me keeping track of the Canadian <laughs> World Juniors hockey team and how much their jersey, helmets, and gloves were going for or went for on sale. Sidney Crosby, $18,000. It's insane. The closest person was Dion Phaneuf. No, wait. Michael Richards. He was the next closest person. Anyways, this is fun. I'm gonna go do this for a while. Bye. Oh, wait. Book report. 2004. Ugh. Anyways, I'm gonna go try to find this thing, but also get super distracted by this now. So I had no luck finding the thing I was looking for. Also, it's 10 to 11 and I have wasted my entire day. I wrote one sentence for book two. <laughs> and then I took a picture and sent it to Pam. I'm like, there's your answer. Because she'd asked me a question after finishing reading book one. The answer will mean nothing to her. But I found a bunch of <laughs> video back from like 2008, which is crazy. And so I think I might insert some of it here. Some of it's from when I worked at this place called Kayukit and my boss was teaching people how to fish. And then there's some stuff hanging out with my roommates in third year university. Kibo! <laughs> No, but you can't see Jessica. There's the whole point with this. Yeah, come on. They can't see you, so get up. Come on, there, you can see them. Okay. Go like that, dude. You're awesome. Oh, you're cheating. Hey, you cheating? Get it, just get up, get it. Ah! Just wish you. Burning on, just like a match you try to incinerate. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you know, not a rap video backup dancer. No. No. I think it'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Real director. <laughs> you can be a backup dancer in, you know, my rap <laughs> boyfriend's video. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at shaking my things. Did you even turn it on? Oh, it was, I kept it on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> there you go.
day was a bit of a bust, but that's okay, I guess. I was just like, I was so motivated to get stuff done after my nap, and then we went out, and that was all good, and then I came back, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna get stuff done, and then it was just like, shoop, one, one sentence. One sentence. 36 words, but not even, because like one, two, three, four, five of those words are title things. Ah, that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go now though because I realize it's quarter after 11 so sleep time should come So with that I'm going to say thank you for coming along on today's adventure and I will see you tomorrow when we do very similar things Good night